It's the middle of April and a giant ice storm has hit the entire eastern seaboard of North America, shutting down schools and airports, uh, wreaking havoc with traffic, rescheduling uh, sporting events, and causing lots of people to not show up for work. Now, as a business owner, this whole chain of events, well, it kind of gives you two options, and I'm going to tell you what those are coming up next. <laughs> Good Mark TV morning. Now, everything in this city is really, really quiet. And, and like a lot of cities uh, on this side of the continent, well, people are staying home. They're not doing anything. A lot of businesses I know are closed. Uh, a lot of kids are home from school. Things have really just quieted down. But I find that opportunities like this, when things are really quiet and, and uh, productivity is kind of shut down for the day, so to speak, business owners take one of two routes, okay? They view it as an opportunity to kind of bury themselves in the office and get all kinds of work done that they wouldn't normally get done because chances are their phones aren't going to be ringing as much, people aren't going to be uh, showing up for meetings as much, so they're really going to kind of nail it down and, and, and focus on getting as much work done as possible. The second option is they're going to say, you know what? Screw it. It's like the, the day is quiet, I got the kids home. You know what? Let's take a day off and have some fun. Now depending on who you listen to or, or what guru you like to follow, they're gonna tell you most likely to kinda of focus and get all that work done. But here's the thing, I've noticed that we live in a world, specifically here in North America, where working really, really hard is something people brag about. I mean, they, they want everyone to know how they're always busy, how they're always like working so incredibly hard, and uh, they never have time for anything. It's like every time you ask someone, you know, are you busy? Oh yeah, like crazy busy. I'm just so busy, so busy I don't know what to do with myself. You know what, that's really not what life is about. It's not how things should be, and if you are that busy, that you can't even function, that you're like crazy busy all the time, either you're not working efficiently or you're trying to do too many things yourself. You're trying to do what I like to call those, those multitude of five minute jobs. It's all these little things that you say, oh, it'll just take me five minutes. You know, I'll just fill out the, that uh, report or I'll send off that invoice or I'll complete that purchase order or whatever it is. All these little jobs that take five minutes, I guarantee you add up to hours and if you tally all the time that you spend over the course of a work day or work week just doing well, nothing that actually leads to any real productivity or sales or revenue, well I'm sure it'll be hours and hours. I know I'm guilty of that too. I look back over the course of a day and sometimes I've killed like two hours and I look back and I actually, actually haven't done anything. So maybe it's time for us to take a, uh, a step back to kind of exhale a little bit and realize that, you know what, when we're given an opportunity like, well, like an, uh, an ice storm to kind of pull back and, you know, not have to work, maybe we should view it as an invitation to getting a little bit of our life back, to, to realizing that we shouldn't be working for our company, our companies should be working for us. So maybe on a day like today, you know what, turn off the computer, change your voicemail or email, whatever it is, to let everyone know you are out of the office today. And you know what, go see a movie, go to the mall, binge watch Netflix, get together with your kids, or you know what, just catch up on a book. You really don't need to be working all the time. So, I don't know, do you agree, disagree? Maybe you have an opinion on it? Just post it down below, you know I'll answer back. And if you have an idea for an upcoming episode or something you wanna know with regards to to business or marketing or some kind of question that I can answer for you here, post that down below or you can email it right there, mark at markgordon.ca. Send me an email with your question or comment and maybe I'll answer it, which will, well, I'll have an easier time answering than that guy who's getting up his driveway, that's for sure. Anyway, post it down below, you know I'll answer back. And as always, I'm Mark Gordon, you've been watching Mark TV and I'm hoping that after this video, you'll say, <laughs> you'll say screw it I'm not working anymore today and I'm just gonna take some time to watch something interesting like this guy trying to pull into his driveway yeah that could work until next time I'll see you later <laughs>